What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here. And ow! <laughs> and I have another unboxing video for you. Ah! Ow! In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 June Loot Gaming. I think this is for June, right? Oh, just kidding, just kidding. This is the 2016 May Loot Gaming Box. Wow, that came really late. Oh, maybe this is the one. I know at one point they sent out an email saying that something was going to be late. I don't know if it was this one. All right, well, this is for May. Wow, that's super late loot crate because it's like June 10th already. Anyways, uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put the pricing details in the description below. Just a disclaimer, I believe this is the last loot gaming box that I'm going to get. I got a three month subscription when it first came out just to try it out and then I realized that this box is cool but I'm not quite sure this box is really for me. So who knows I might get it again um, but right now this is cancelled so this is going to be technically my last loot gaming box for right now. Uh, if for some reason you guys really 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 like it comment down below and then if there's enough people I might keep it for you guys. Alright guys uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put the pricing details in the description below. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Oh, we got another cute but deadly figure. Okay, let's do that one first. I got one of these before. I don't know where. I got Murloc, which was amazing. He's this guy. He's already on my desk in my office. I like him a lot. Out of all these, I gosh, Murloc was definitely my favorite just because he's the happiest looking, so hopefully I get the special edition Murloc. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Oh gosh. I got this guy. Whoa. I got this guy and it's broken. What the heck? That's janky. This is janky. Ugh. First of all, this thing is freaking creepy as heck. What is this? Ow. Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties with my shoulder right now. Okay, so this thing's creepy and this little wing thing fell off that goes into this thing's back and you could put it back in but it doesn't stay there so I'm gonna have to like glue it. So that's a little bit janky and creepy and scary. I definitely lucked out getting Murloc the first time. All right. Next we have a Loot Crate exclusive dog tag from BioWorld and this is a legit Loot Crate exclusive. It actually is printed on there. This is a Legend of Zelda product. Let's see. I'll take it out. Ooh. So it's a leather. It's like a, well, leather-esque dog tag. I don't know if this is real leather. And then it has a metal dog tag, a skinnier version of the sword. So this is the uh, like the leathery one that has the bird thing, and then here's the sword. I like this sword. I think that's so clean. I like the color, but I like the material. Ooh, I like that. Next we have our Loot Gaming Pin. It is May 2016, and it's Dungeon. Dungeon. Ooh, you can't really see it, but the pin is a little bit sparkly. Next we have this item in this box that says loot crate on it. I'm gonna guess this is like a cup because it just seems like it would be a cup. Oh! Winner winner chicken dinner. Ew, it did smell good. Maybe this isn't a cup. Maybe this is like a vase. Um, this is cool. This is a cup vase thing of doom. I don't know if this is a cup. I'm not really quite sure. And there's the Doom guy. Uh, I don't know. I've, I haven't played Doom recently, but we used to play it on our old school computer. Like, old school computer. I used to, I was not good at that game. But I used to play it because I liked it. I liked finding the different guns and like switching all the guns in your hand because you know you can only see your hand. Or at least that's the setting that we had it on. I don't know if that's a cup or a vase. It's very odd. The top of it's odd for it to be a cup, but who knows? I like that though. Then we got this. Is this a notebook? It's an Uncharted 4 item. It's like a little, a little, oh I'm sorry I didn't show you. Here we go. It's like leather. Oh it's just like a notebook. And then there's even um, one of those like string things for the bookmark. It's kind of neat. Is this like the notebook that he carries around in the game? All right, the last item before this shirt is, I'm gonna go with, I mean, it's either a scarf. It's probably a scarf. 
There's a lion, and on the other side, oh, this is like a flag, actually. There's this thing. And on the corners, the top corners, there are the little holes. So I'm assuming this is some kind of flag. I prefer this lion versus this thing. Whatever this is, I like the lion a little bit better. I have no idea what that's from. We'll see in the booklet. Before we look in the booklet, let's do the shirt. This is a Rock Me shirt. Men's medium, it's gray. Oh. So the front has the left pocket design. I have not seen a left pocket design on a shirt that we got in this box in a long time. So it has a sign and on the back, it has this guy and it says on here, do you even praise? So that's the back of the shirt. So this is a left pocket design on the front and then the back of the shirt has kind of like a full design on the back. Uh, do I know what that's from? No, I have no idea. That is why I canceled this box, because I really don't know any of this stuff, but hopefully you guys have gotten a good idea of what comes in this box the past three months. All right, let's go ahead and do a recap. Learn what some of this stuff is. First item we have is our Uncharted journal from Uncharted 4. 30 pages, there's a map inside the front cover. Ugh. Uh, okay, I'll take it out to show you. I worked so hard to put it back in this little bag. There's the map that's in the front cover. I don't know if that was worth it to take it out of this package. Next item, we had the dog tag, the Loot Crate exclusive dog tag from The Legend of Zelda. So the chain is zinc alloy, the, the charm of the embossed sword is zinc alloy, and then the the black thing is a fox leather featuring the Triforce symbol. I actually like this mag magazine thing this time. It's very cut, cut and dry, like to the point. Each page has the items in it. It's not like you have to go searching for them like some of their other magazines that they have. So the next item we got is a Doom Can Glass. That sounds a bit right. Commercial grade, sturdy, red tinted to remind you of the fires of hell. I don't know how they made this, but it does have the shape of a can. So that's interesting because the top, I don't know if you can see the top. The top is like curved like a can. That's why I was kind of confused on if this was a glass or a vase. But that's actually a cool item. This demonic can glass will hold all the blood or Kool-Aid you can drink. Next we got our Warcraft flag. So that was this thing. Oh, oh gosh, I think I've said that I read both sides. This is the one with the Horde and the Alliance. I don't know which one's which. You guys have told me. But I'm going with this line, guys. I want to be the line. I don't want to be this thing. Whatever this is, I feel like I feel like the alliance should be the lion and the horde should be that red thing. Am I right? Let me know. Okay, next we have our dungeon coin pin. Our loot pin. It's a bronze finish. Oh, they had an epic drop. Dang it. You could have... Uh, 20 lucky winners would have won a consumer pass to E3 2016 in Los Angeles. I did not win that. Oh, they had another epic drop. 10 lucky winners would win a collector's edition Doom, oh, a collector's edition of Doom, which features a fully realized 12 inch tall collector statue worth e over a thousand dollars. Oh, I didn't win that. I love epic drops though. That's like the lottery. I like that. What, wait, they didn't even talk about the shirt. Oh, here, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. My bad, my bad, my bad. The shirt was from Dark Souls 3. Bam, bam, that's it. Dark Souls 3. They didn't talk about the uh, cute but deadly figure, but we also got the cute but deadly figure. All right, so that was all your items. Let's go ahead and do some pricing. That's it, because we just did a recap. Since I can't find my calculator still, I'm so upset about that. Okay, here we go. Shirt, $10. The cute but deadly figure, let's give that uh, mm, $5. This Doom Glass, will give that, it's very unique. It is unique, so I'll give it $6. I think that's a little bit high. You probably could just give it $5. Loot Pin is $3. This Legend of Zelda dog tag, I really like this. I'm going to give that $4. That's probably a little bit low. This Fox Leather Book thing, I'll give that $4. And then this Flag... I'm going to give the flag $5. Oops. Oh no, what What did it do? I don't, my calculator kind of went nuts though, so I don't know if this is right. But according to my pricing, this box is worth about $37. I pay $30 a month for it, so it 
it's not too bad. I might pay a little bit less because when I ordered this, I got the three month subscription, which I'm assuming gave me a bit of a deal because I usually only do the three month subscription if I'm going to get a deal. So I paid $28.95 a month. So $29 a month for this box. So that means I got $8 extra value on top of what I paid for. So that's that's good. That's good. It's on the verge of hitting 10, which is like, yay, 10. So, um, not a bad box. And you know what? I don't remember the other loot gaming boxes, but I think this one might be one of my favorites only because I feel like even though I didn't get a whole, I mean, obviously I'm not a huge fan of most of this stuff. Some of this stuff is like actually like usable. Like not that I'm going to use it, but even if I don't like Uncharted 4, I could use this as a notebook. The glass is you know, I can use the glass. I like Doom, so it's okay. I wasn't a huge fan of the cute and deadly figure, only because I didn't like the one that I got, and it was broken. But I did like the Zelda, the Zelda dog tag. I actually really like this, this flag. I like this, this lion. I don't know what it is, but this lion's like, to me, I just keep looking at it going like, yeah, that's pretty amazing. So I like that, but Let's do this. Um, if I had to rate this box, for me personally, I would probably just give this box a... Actually, I really like it. I, I'm not sitting here going, eh. I'm not a huge fan of the shirt because I don't really like the left pocket design anymore. I'm like happy with this box. I got a, a few things that I really like in this box. I probably would have to give this box... I want to say a 4. I think that might be a little bit high because I'm not a huge fan of all the items. Maybe like a 3.9 out of 5 noobs. Potentially a four out of five noobs. I think if you actually like these items, it has good value. If they're good items. You could probably give it like a 4.5 out of five noobs. I don't really know. I don't know if, about you guys. Do you guys like these items? If you did, what would you rate it? But I actually like this box. Do I like it enough to keep it? Mm, uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. It's, um, you know, the gaming box. I always knew that I wasn't going to be like the biggest fan of it. I just wanted to get it on my channel so that you guys could see it. So I'll have to think about it. I'm not sure. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. If you guys were a fan of all these things, did you like it? Did you think it was worth it? Let me know. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.